Welcome back to Gallery of Gaming. If you didn't know already, Lost Ark is having a big update here pretty soon. Argos, our first big boy raid coming to the NAEU. As I talked about in my last video, this is going to be our first big update. And they haven't released the patch notes for it yet. They have teased us a little bit here and there with small trailers or screenshots, but it was promised that they would release it a month after the initial release of the game. We have a large amount of players up at tier 3 already, and quite a few working their way up pretty quickly. If you're having issues pushing up, I have guides on how to push up quicker and easier that you can check out on my channel. If you want to see more of this type of information, keep updated on the game and guides for beating all these dungeons and raids, go ahead and hit the subscribe bar. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up for me. If you've got anything to ask or just want to say something to me, let me know down in the comments. Now, let's get into the meat of this video. We have our first big boy raid. These raids are sectioned off into three individual parts, and it starts at 1370. But Argos brings a new set of gear that you can get to help your progression. Like I talked about in my tier 3 now what video, with the Abyss, you have a hard mode that drops mats to craft a 1340 gear but requires you to be 1370 to get into. So although it's lower than what you're, what you're getting already, it means that you have less enhancements to get to the level that you are already at. And it's startup set, so it's really easy to enhance further and score than your other set, boosting to plus eight easily and quickly getting you to 1385. Well, the gear dropping for Argos falls into the same category. It will all be 1340 gear that will max out at 1415, which is what is required for the next raid that will come after Argos. But Argos's three phases are separate runs and require separate scores to get into. His first stage is 1370, followed by a 1385, and the last one is, you guessed it, 1400. Now, not only is this a different method of getting your 1340 gear, it's also, at least in my opinion, much better gear set bonuses, ones with crit and crit damage buffs individually. There's two separate sets, and they both have a special buff for while in a raid, increasing your damage to the raid boss by 20% for 20 seconds with a cooldown of one minute. So now that we have the new gear sets out of the way, and how your progression in terms of what gear you want talked about. There has also been rumor with the leaked patch notes that pop up and get taken down rather quickly from their actual website. Increases the success rates across all tiers, reducing the cost, and just making things easier. So my personal suggestion in this area, hit 1340. This gives you both tier three abyss runs to get your epic gear set, then just save your mats. If you want to save your bound mats and sell your unbound to stack up a little bit of gold if you like, go ahead. But there is currently no reason to really go past 1340 until Argos is released. At which point, then you just want to get to 1370. If they increase the honing, then congratulations, you just potentially made your time getting to 1370 much, much easier and less exhausting. If they don't make any changes, well, you still have the mats you would have had to get there and you get to go for it anyways. So not really much of a loss there either way. This is also not to mention the fact that they are bringing new storyline and quests in with this update. With word being a repeatable daily quest for materials to help you get where you need to be if you haven't already gotten up there. This is a dev team that has in the past and continues to constantly push out more content than I have seen in almost any other game, let alone for a free to play game. So yeah, basically my primary suggestions for you, keep your grind up, save your mats, hit that 1340, get both abysses, and then just chill for a bit. Wait for the new raid and the new gear sets, but stockpile resources. When this bad boy comes out you're gonna want to be getting in there and getting your hands dirty with some juicy new raids i'll try to get a raid guide out as quickly as i can but till then remember to subscribe for more content 
like if you enjoyed leave a comment on your thoughts and plans for the upcoming content drops and remember to have fun and be kind to your fellow player and as always enjoy whatever world you're jumping into next bye